remembering Chief Estela. Lourdes Simbulan, more popularly known as Chief Estela, was a journalist and university professor who lost her life in a road crash on the evening of May 13, 2011. The taxi she was riding was graced by one bus on the right side and rammed by another on the rear. Both were speeding and racing against each other for passengers on that deadly road known as Commonwealth Avenue in Quezon City, also known as the Killer Highway, because of the many fatal crashes on that road. The drivers of the two buses fled the scene. They were later charged with reckless imprudence resulting in homicide. The case has dragged for eight years and remains unresolved. The case is now awaiting decision of a Quezon City Court judge. At the time of her death, Cheat was a professor at the University of the Philippines Department of Journalism and an editor of Fair Files, which she co-founded with five other female journalists in 2008. Before that, she was a reporter covering various beats, among them in Malacanang Palace during the time of President Cory Aquino. She also served as editor in a handful of national dailies and a few publications of nonprofit organizations. News of her death and subsequent developments took prominence in newspapers and television news programs. She, after all, was known and admired by many in the media industry as a dedicated and principled journalist, and she was adored by her students. She is warm and soft-spoken, but that should not that, that should not mean that that should not be taken as a sign of weakness because cheat is strong and brave. Shortly after her shocking death, the Quezon City government through its city council adopted a resolution recognizing her contributions to the city both as a journalist and academician. The House of Representatives then under Speaker Feliciano Belmonte also adopted a resolution expressing condolences to her family in honoring her as a bastion of responsible and ethical journalism. Over the next months after Cheat's death, friends, colleagues, and civic groups organized activities to honor her. This included a run for road safety in June 2011 to mark the 40th day of her death. And on her first death anniversary, a similar activity was organized with support from local and national government agencies, including the MMDA, the LTO, LTFRB, and the Department of Transportation. A journalism award was also named after her by UP. About 15 months after her passing, a book was published by the Center for People Empowerment in Governance. It was launched in August 2012 to coincide with her birthday that fell on the same month. It is a collection of selected articles written by Cheat. The launch was also attended by transport officials who vowed to take action to ensure that deaths on the country's roads would be significantly reduced. And on November 18, 2012, a marker was unveiled on a sidewalk near the Ayala Techno Hub along Commonwealth where Cheat lost her life the year before. The marker was put up by the city government and the University of the Philippines to honor the memory of Cheat and other lives that were lost due to similar incidents on the same road and other parts of Quezon City. The marker, and I quote, serves as an enduring symbol of Quezon City's unwavering commitment to make Commonwealth Avenue one of the safest sorrow fairs in the Philippines. It also serves to renew the commitment of Quezon City as a quality city, promote road safety and save lives in accordance with the UN Declaration on the Decade of Action for Road Safety. We at Verifiles remember Chip and honor her 
and the countless other victims of road crashes. The nameless and faceless people who have lost their lives on the country's safe roads. We honor them while raising public awareness of road safety through a microsite we call the Cheat Estella Road Safety Page. The page is a repository of stories written by our own staff and by reporters from different media around the country who have taken part in our Road Safety Media Fellowship, which began in 2016 under a program with the WHO. The Road Safety Page is aimed at raising awareness of the hazards on the roads, laws and ordinances designed to address risk factors like speeding, the use of helmets by motorcyclists, seat belts for motorists, drunk and distracted driving, and the use of child restraints. The stories also look into the behavior of road users and even their lack of awareness of basic rules, as well as the uneven enforcement of road rules. Cheat died on May 13, which happened to be a Friday. I am not sure if Cheat was superstitious but she was big on horoscopes. On the morning of that fateful day, her husband, Roland, said Cheat was excited about her horoscope because it said, today you are going to experience something that is not only evolutionary, but something that is revolutionary. It will be a life changing event. Close to 10 years after her death, I am sure Cheat would be happy to know that her death had spurred calls for safer roads and her death was not just life changing, but life saving. So let's all work towards safer roads. Thank you. <laughs>